guys, how's it going? Um, I just wanted to do a video. Um, this is a general video, it's not a specific project. And you might be wondering why I've got, why I've got Multimatic up here. Um, yeah, I just did a video earlier today about this. Um, and I just wanna use this as an example as I go through these FAQs. Um, so these are just gonna be general questions about all ROI depths. Um, I see a lot of people in the Telegram groups and they, you know, are asking these questions over and over and um, figure that it's a good place to just throw these out there. Um, hopefully it could be used as some kind of guide for um, others to use as to, you know, point people in this direction to answer these questions. So let's get into this. So first, um, the biggest question, well, one of the biggest questions is where do profits come from? Well, ROI dApps, um, I've done videos before on the risk of ROI dApps and it's, it's mentioned there. The um, profits that you get from these come from other people's deposits. That's why, uh, let's look at the audit here. That's why when you see this high issue and all the, you know, every single one has this in their audits, it says, um, uh, let's see, da, 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 dividends are paid from deposits of other users. So that's why these are so high risk. Um, getting, in, getting in early is key on these because um, if you deposit and a bunch of deposits happen after, uh, you're more than likely gonna get your deposit out or your, sorry, your ROI out. We'll get to that in a second. So that's where these things are paid for. Um, you know, we've talked about how these are Ponzi-nomics, um, kind of on steroids because they have reinvestment, you know, taxes and things built in. Um, so go ahead and, you know, I'll even link this video right here and you can have a look at it and, you know, it'll, it'll talk about those, those risks. I even do examples in that video. Um, number two, do I get my initial investment back? Um, the initial answer to that question is no, you do not get your initial investment back. You get just the ROI that is made on that investment. So for instance, you know, this plan runs for 14 days. Uh, if you put in, you know, 100 Matic here, let's just put that in here. Let's get it typed in right. Um, you get 142 Matic back total. Like you don't get 142 plus three or 100 back. This is what you receive uh, because it's gonna give you your daily return of 7% every day, um, auto compounded 14 times once a day. Um, so you're gonna get, um, after tax and everything, you're gonna get 142.11 back. Uh, so, I mean, you can, you can think about that as like, hey, I got my initial deposit plus 42.11, or, you know, I got 142% back or, or whatever, but you do not get this deposit back. You can't, um, another kind of sub question to that is can I just take my initial deposit back at any time? Um, no, you can't. Once you've deposited that, it kind of goes into the pool of everybody else's and that's where it is. Um, so that is why it's also very important to look at that contract balance. So, you know, do you get your initial investment back? Um, you don't get the exact same one that you put in, but you get yours, you know, you can say that you got your initial investment back plus you may, you know, you made 42%, um, however you want to look at it, but you're not going to get your initial back. You're going to get the ROI. Um, that you made on your investment. Um, and the idea of these is to make sure that that's always higher than your initial investment because otherwise you'd be losing money and these would not be worth it. So that's number two. Um, the other question is, will be, you know, will that be a, a rug pull? Um, you know, there's been a lot of, um, uh, you know, rug pulls in crypto you know, this is kind of the wild west of investment. And the, the thing about these are you have to be careful and you need to review. That's why whenever I review these, I look at the audit, I look at the contract, you know, I verify this stuff has been done by the developers before, you know, I put anything into it. Um, so yeah, let's look at the contract. This is called a smart contract. 
And the thing about the smart contract is um, this balance here, that's sitting there and that's what can be paid out to investors. Um, but that con that this in the contract being a smart contract means this cannot be touched by the, de the development team. Um, this, this balance is not owned by um, the, you know, whoever started the application or the devs or anything. They cannot touch this. They cannot remove this balance. Um, that's another reason in the audit that it, it shows that there's no back doors. There's no um, scripts where um, devs can, can touch it. Um, so yeah, do your due diligence, you know, look into the, to these contracts, you know, uh, the conclusion, you know, there are no vulnerabilities, no back doors. That's where, you know, developers could get in there and, and grab everything out. There's no scam scripts. Um, that they wrote. Uh, so I would say anything you invest in should have an audit for sure. Um, you know, look at the contract. I try to provide somewhat of a code review when I do these. Um, just so, um, you know, obviously I can't catch everything, but know that I try to do my due diligence before I release this information. Um, yeah, so those are kind of the, the three main questions that people ask quite a bit. There, there's other little questions that people ask, but there's nothing um, huge. Um, a lot of people also understand when you ask a question, well, some other questions I've seen is, hey, I've got an RPC error when I try to deposit. Um, those happen when there's something going on with the uh, Polygon network or any other network that you're using. Um, usually if there's an error with MetaMask or um, another wallet you're trying to deposit or you're trying to withdraw and it takes really, really long time, um, it's always, it's 99% it's of the time a problem with the network itself and not the um, application that you're running on. Um, you know, just days ago, uh, Polygon had an outage for hours and hours that, you know, you know even my... Uh, MetaMask accounts said I had nothing and you couldn't do anything um, and that was that was across the board so you know if you have RPC errors or you know something's taken a very long time and you see a balance um, a, a positive healthy balance it's most likely the Polygon network is either congested congested um, or they're having a, a problem over there Anyway, I just want to leave these um, kind of these FAQs out there. Um, I'll be doing a very specific one about Multimatic um, here shortly uh, that you guys can reference. Anyway, I just want to throw that out there. If you do have any other questions um, about these, go ahead and feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Anyway, we'll catch you on the next one.